Alrighty, some more Assassin's Creed Unity. If I can get to the title screen here, I swear it takes freaking forever to get past the screen where it's like this game saves automatically or whatever the heck it said. But now we're on the uh now we're on the title screen and whatnot. I need to switch over to this layout here. I need to turn my chat on. Is it off? There we go. <laughs> hello, hello, King is I hope you are doing well today. And Eevee Lucian's there indeed. That uh Huh? Is my controller not working? News controller successfully connected. I'm gonna reconnect it. Huh? Oh, now it's working. <laughs> Don't know why I wasn't there before. Anyway, the uh, the layout on these screens and whatnot is based off of like my actual setup that I uh, that I have here in front of me. I don't know why it doesn't fade transition. So that is like my actual massive mouse pad is my evolution thing. They're a lot brighter in that version that I drew, but this is just straight up my massive mouse pad, and this is my uh, this is my thing, Bob. I it's technically a Pokemon TCG playmat that I won at a. Uh, tcg event back in generation 5 way back when i used to actually play the pokemon tcg freaking 3000 years ago but that's also why there's no sylveon on the mat is because sylveon didn't actually exist yet at the time that i that i got said mat so that's the uh that's the story behind that um when it comes to assassin's creed unity stuff one of the uh one of the interesting things about this game here is that uh Apparently, you just get, like, revenue by waiting here and whatnot. With the more places you've renovated, the more revenue you make. So, since the last time, there was a, uh... There was a day where I was just, like, spending the day working on university assignments, and I just left Assassin's Creed Unity open. And, like, maybe once every a little bit over an hour, because I think it'd be, like, an hour 20 minutes to, like, fill that thing up completely. I would just, like, click on the game, loot the chest, and then, uh be a okay so i should be able to afford some more equipment than than last time yeah i have 277,000 f's now from doing that and i did also go ahead and get the uh the staggering strikes thing bob that i needed here as well as just like the last armor piece that i was missing for that mission and that mission so and i got like one collectible cockade somewhere i don't know where it's not that not that important i suppose though so been doing like a few little misc things since the last time we played this game this session i'd very much like to complete sequence nine so we can get lock picking skill level three and then we can freaking go around the world collecting like basically everything and whatnot but first and foremost i do want to have a look at the gear load out here because we should now be able to afford the best rifle the silver plated musket one of the finest examples of a musket both in terms of craftsmanship and usefulness yeah, let's go ahead and get that is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I hope it can, I hope it holds two bullets as well, or more, but it's probably going to be two, uh, before, uh, before needing to reload. I can go ahead and, like, really quickly see, look at that thing now. Let's have a quick look-see here. Yeah. So I guess it's just standard for all these things to have, to have two bullets and then you need to reload. Okay. Okay, whoops, not progress tracker. So I'll go ahead and go to uh, gear loadout here again and go to rifle. So yeah, now we have the best rifle in the game. So I may as well upgrade that with 10k of whatever that point is. The freaking assassin point thingamabobs that I apparently have 42k of. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And that'll apparently increase my damage by 25%. So that should definitely make us a decent bit stronger there, I believe. So... The next thing that I would probably want equipment wise would probably be forearms because these are the things that affect uh, you can get modifiers on these like increased amounts of hidden blades and whatnot. So that could be very nice. Um, so I believe that the I believe it was this one that I had my eye on when I was like looking around on my own time. The legendary military bracers. These bracers were apparently once worn by Napoleon himself. I believe this gives the most range out of any of the uh bracers at all unless there's one in like the lower diamond categories which i doubt it there yeah it doesn't seem to be so um hello hello lancer how are you doing today yeah more like more like that huh yeah so that right there might oh you can't freaking loop back to the other side that's dumb um but yeah so the one with the most range is this one and it gives you and i can get freaking seven additional phantom blades and berserk blades from that so that seems pretty darn nice to me, the legendary military bracers. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get them. The legendary military bracers. So yeah, now I'm nearly brokey. And yeah, I'll go ahead and use 10,000 of my freaking thingamabobs to go ahead and upgrade that. So we get like seven of each of those. And then bada bing, bada boom. It's fantastic. Um, 
doing good currently working on iceberg chart of video game glitches across like any video game at all just like within within gaming or like a specific kind of specific kind of area so now with that look at that i got this freaking hellish nice rifle now and with these new forearms i now have a uh, nine capacity for berserk blades and 12 capacity for phantom blades that's freaking more bullets that i can hold well it's technically the same amount of bullets i can hold because uh you know there's two that are in it right now in addition to like my 10 i can reload with wait but then that would be uh that would be 13 technically because one's you know in it already so yeah i do technically now have more phantom blades than i do bullets on the rifle on my back and within games in general gotcha gotcha that kind of thing we're bob in that case so yeah we are definitely much much stronger than much much stronger than we were before this will uh this will be very very nice is there actually a shop around here where i guess i'll go really quickly uh get that so yeah every uh every 20 minutes i'd get freaking 8960 f so that's quite nice but you know that number can be even more if we uh you know renovate the other social clubs in the world and if we're making even more, then it should be pretty easy peasy to get a whole bunch of like the best equipment that I can. Right now we have the best uh, bracers, rifle, and belt. I was the waste freaking thing, Bob. Those are the th three things that we have like the best of. So I still need like a best hood, a best chest guard, and a best leggings. I believe is what I is what I still need. So my goal for this session is a uh, do sequence nine. And then we can get lockpicking level 3 after that. And once we have lockpicking level 3, I'm going to go to the uh, area in the world that I haven't explored around yet to try and get the other social clubs while getting collectibles along the way. Which we'll be able to get all of since we'll have lockpicking level 3. And it's going to be freaking fantastic. Hi there. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it gets a little bit, little bit expensive, but we're also making in a whole lot of revenue now at the, uh, at the thing where Bob there. So that is very nice. Nine Berserk Blades, 12 Phantom Blades. That's insane. Yeah. I'm definitely going to like using my range stuff now. Also, with these new bracers, how much range do I have? Like, how far is considered out of range? I'm going to have to test out like a guard later. Gosh, diggity darn you. Maybe if I just target someone else. Oh. No. So that's my range about. So about that is my range, ish. Maybe I can't target him at all. Excuse me, I'm trying to test my range. So my range is about freaking out of the way. I'm trying to test here. So my range is about, gosh darn it, why do you have to get in the way? My range is about that. I've got about this much distance of range now, which Honestly, I thought it would have been a little bit farther by now, but, but alas, but alas, no such luck. I'm such big sad, but yeah, let's see here. This being a faces glitch from this game is going to appear on the chart. You just don't know what tier to put it on. I mean, it's pretty, it's a pretty solid glitch there to say at least. I didn't get around to Googling what the heck to do about this, uh, this thing Bob here, but you know, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll do it in the near future here, I suppose. Um, freaking legends arceus comes out tomorrow by the time this video is uploaded legends arceus will already be out my playthrough on it will already have started and whatnot hello hello mortis hope you are doing well today oh there's a shop right here i could have hit up gosh dang you darn it um but yeah so legends arceus will certainly be something different so for a little while our three ongoing main games that we'll have on this channel for a little bit are going to be assassin's creed unity pokemon mission engine explorers of sky and pokemon legends arceus are gonna be our things in addition to minecraft i suppose but like you know the pace of episodes of that is gonna be you received one master phantom coat what is that um the freaking progress on the minecraft uploads might be a little bit slow because they actually take a lot of effort put into them to make them hold on equipment chest no this was a thing where bob that i got from like one of the uh one of those co-op missions i believe did i just get this oh Master Phantom Coat, a masterfully realized coat that once caught the uh, eye of Marie Antoinette herself. This is a five diamond thing. It's not a five diamond uh, golden thing, Rebob, that I have to save up for. But it's real up there, and it would give me a whole bunch of freaking... A whole bunch of freaking stuff here. 
Yeah, that's definitely worth slapping on there. Oh, look at that. I made up to freaking five diamond rank. Look at that. In my health bar in the top left, we finally made it up to the rank of the freaking five diamonds. Wow. Doing good, sir. Watching some people got early copies of Pokemon Legends Arsenal and started left a really good impression on you. Pleasantly surprised. Well, that's good to hear. I've been experimenting with some layouts for uh for Legends Arceus. Um, I was wondering if I should like repurpose the uh Pokemon Brilliant Diamond layout where it's just like, you know, my camera's on this side and it's flipped 180 degrees, because if it was the other way around, then my camera would block the opponent health bar since the opponent health bar appears in like the uh in the top right corner and whatnot, and then the Pokemon are down there and like chat and stuff is in the bottom. Or the other day I uh, was experimenting with a new layout idea, which would look something like this instead as a bit of a different idea. So in this layout idea, my camera no longer like goes into the game screen, but my 1080p camera, my 16x9 camera has been cropped into be 4x3 instead. So you don't get the full camera, but then you get the full game with chat being down there, my Pokemon being being down there. And if I alt tab off for a hot second and turn on the, uh, the, wait, what, what thing where Bob is it? Um, gosh dang it, what freaking, uh, what image did I use to test this? Where was it? Oh my goodness, I know that there was like an image that I used to, uh, I could have sworn it was this one. Oh, it's because my capture card is blocking it. There we go. So it looks something like this with like a generic, a generic screenshot. So that was a, that was an idea running through my head. And I, uh, I've talked with a couple people about it in DMs, like, which layout do you prefer? And it seems like, it seems like this one is probably going to be the one that we go with. It does also mean Doki Cam gets less space if it's down there. Oh, I needed to, uh, yeah, I, uh, there, wait. Oh, it doesn't change the bar on the right. I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to fix that when I, uh, when I get the chance. Oh, well, but yeah, it does mean that you get to see like the full game screen, though, if uh, if we're doing that. And that's probably going to be the layout that we wind up that we wind up going with here. Um, but yeah, Legends Arceus has a Metacritic rating of 86. Maybe we'll end up being worth sacrificing the Diamond of Pearl remakes on the on an altar. We shall see. But didn't Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl also get like good ratings on Metacritic? I'm pretty sure it was lower than that, but I'm fairly certain it did there. Starving times. Let's see here. Paris is in the grip of famine, and it's all part of Jemin's plan. Find out who's responsible and put an end to it. I thought you just said in the last sentence it was Jemin's plan. It was 70. So, you know, it was still pretty alrighty, I guess. Um, they got ratings of 71 slash 73 on Metacritic. Huh. Which still isn't, like, you know, awful, I guess. But, but yeah, let's play the thing. Thirty first of October. Whoa, it's Halloween. When did Halloween arise anyway? Like when did that become like a thing? So I guess it wouldn't have been Halloween back then. What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now, why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levette? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised she's still alone with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hotel de Ville d'Ort. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. This, that's kind of close up on the one random NPC there. Um, but yeah, let's see here. So go to the docks. Maybe I should freaking unmark that uh, solve the second riddle. I was just trying to, uh, on my own time, I was just kind of checking like, oh, can I, uh, you know, see the description of it again out of curiosity? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and untrack that so that that, uh, that thing where Bob isn't there because I don't really need to be seeing that right now, I don't believe. Oh, that, okay. I, that's not quite how I was expecting that to go, but okay. But alrighty then, excuse me. Wait, thinking about Metacritic stuff, what rating did Assassin's Creed Unity get on Metacritic? Because I assume that like most of the ratings would have been from when it was like just out. And I know when it was just out, like I uh, I had a pretty negative opinion of this game despite putting in like 200 hours, which after leaving it on, on my own time, just to get more revenue in the thingamabob, I'm starting to realize that maybe those 200 hours were from doing that 
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened. Um, but I feel like the game that I'm playing right now feels like a way more fun game than the, uh, than the game I played back in 2014. But I am curious what this would uh, be on Metacritic. Where are they going? Hello, hello there. Shuck, how are you doing? Um, widely considered to be the origin of what's popularly known as Halloween or All Hallows' Eve. Huh. For 2,000 years ago. So that was a good while back. But I wonder, like, how... Like, when it really became, like, popularized and stuff. I guess I'm not gonna touch the water. Is what I'll do. Who's drawing their swords? They don't really trust game journalists, but the difference this time is that game journalists aren't all hopped up on copium while reviewing, so it might actually be good. Freaking, I swear, like, all the really big kind of game journalists and sites when it came to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl gave it, like, really positive reviews and stuff. I swear, like, when it... Whereas they... <laughs> games that are... Things like Explorers of Sky wind up getting, like, really bad reviews. I swear, I I feel like the way that it is for, like, really big j game journalists and game sites is they'll literally rate the game out of 10 based on how close it is to what they think it's going to be, rather than out of 10, how good of a game is it, is what I swear happens. The hell was that? <laughs> well, that was certainly something. You need 70 on Metacritic. That's honestly higher than I thought it would be. Like, thinking about, like, 2014 Unity and whatnot. And Horizon Zero Dawn was 89. Okay, so that's a little bit higher than, uh, Legends Arceus then, in that case. Whoa. Uh, mark the end of the harvest season the start of the dark half of the year. Huh. Is news to me, but how are you doing today, Shuck? Look at this whole freaking crazy free-running route we have going on here. I'm still a decent bit behind the, uh, the boat there, but that's a-okay. That is a-okay there. Why were there feathers flying out of that? Were there chickens in there or something? Good to hear that you are doing well. Um, oh, this away. Just nomin understandable. Heave to. Tie up the ballin'. Captain. Any problems? No, madame. You have your orders? Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leak. Uh, yes, madam. Make sure one of the bags leaks. To leave, like, a trail or something? I mean to make sure one of the bags leaks. Steal the orders. Well, the guy seemed hesitant about that one, uh, that one order there. Yeah, at least Metacritic is more trustworthy than IGN. That's true. I don't think I ever really trust IGN for anything there. So I can apparently touch the water now. Now I just need to, like, not trigger any alarms. That's all I gotta do. I don't actually see any alarms around here. But I also now have phantom blades of the yin yang. Oh, I see the alarm far off over there. This guy is far enough away from his friendos that I probably don't need a phantom blade per se. Uh oh. What was that? I didn't even notice this guy. Uh. Uh. Nah, well, there we go. Yeah, I have freaking Phantom Blades for days now. This is great. Really glad I got these new these new bracers here. So, whoops, wrong button. I'm getting mixed up with, I think, Watch Dogs or something. Whoa, Pixel Hunter Simulator. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, let's see here. Yeah, that, that makes sense there. Whoa. So, two people got marked. One's up there, and he wouldn't be able to make it down to the alarm in time. One is over there. I don't have that much. Yeah, I don't have that much range, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, let's see. You're still on the subject of reviews. You find it notable that Nintendo Life rated BDSP with a 6 out of 10 while rating RC with a 9 out of 10. Huh. So, they're saying it's a much better game, at least. Boopity bop. Um, boopity bop. I should probably take out this alarm bale here. IGN once gave PS2 cult classic beat him up God Hand a 3, and when fans called them out, the writer of the review more or less said, F you, it's a bad game, I'm not budging on this. <laughs> What's this guy doing here, huh? He's a little bit jittery, he's had a little bit too many coffees, it seems like. Uh. I'm just Hopefully nobody notices this guy calling guard. 
Also, there's a chest over there that maybe I should yoink while I'm here. Especially if it's down here. I thought it would be like up above. But if it's over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and yoink it. But yeah, I just don't really trust like big game review sites and journalists and whatnot. As I said a second ago, like I really genuinely do feel like how big game journalists rate games is literally on how close it is to what they think it's going to be rather than how good it actually is. Oops. I don't know why I was thinking A was like to go up there. Well, I guess it is if you're doing free run up and stuff. What is my camera doing right now? But yeah. Yeah, at least uh, Metacrit can be all righty. But. Well, I must steal. I don't think I need to worry about triggering any alarms at this point is a thing. I think the only bell is one that I've taken out. Um, you legit trust your dog to make better reviews than IGN, yeah. Same. Hi? Okay, well, um, that guy might see if I take out this guy. Oh, no, he's turning, so, um, I guess I can do that then. Oh, hi. Not quite where I wanted to jump, but that works, I guess. Well, all this guy's friendos are dead now. Oh, hi, um, what? What? Um... I guess I'm fighting him now. That's not, that's not another alarm. Well, I guess I'm fighting you now. Ow, dang it, dang it! Come on. But yeah, Kim Jurnus literally said Crash Bandicoot would become the Dark Souls of platformers. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a, that was a thing there. There we go, we stole the orders. Escape the area and become anonymous. Okay, well, thank goodness I can touch the water just fine now. I'm um, high, I'm um, high. How about you do- What kind of animation was that? Well. I just better boopity bop, I suppose. I don't know if there's like a lift up or anything around here. Well, I did the thing. I did the thing. Well, this is a climb spot, so I can just take this, I suppose. Um, yeah, I guess that your views make sense for you to have, Harmony, as all Mystery Dungeon games have higher user scores than critic scores on Metacritic. Yeah, freaking... That's the way that it is with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is freaking actual big game reviewers are always going to give them like super low ratings and stuff. But, you know, those that actually take the time to like really play it and don't rage quit at Apple Woods. Freaking love it. But yeah, Game Journalists say everything is Dark Souls is the point that is becoming a widely known meme. <laughs> oh, man. Video games are just getting too hard for game journalists. Everything is Dark Souls. A game that most game journalists probably haven't even played themselves, but they'll just call other things uh, other things Dark Souls anyway. <laughs> Is the case. Well, there we go. We escaped the area. Sweet. Well, I did the thing. Halle Luxembourg. Yeah. What are you up to there? Alright, well, there we go. Starving times. We did the thing. What are you up to there, Mr. Dudo? Whoa, the lighting got a little bit weird. 